We were talking about realism. We were talking about approaching the situation of a real fight. So, not a very specific, I'm going to tell you in advance what technique I'm throwing and you're going to block a situation. Also, we're going to deal with adrenaline, right? When you first get nervous, your hands shake, you, you, you lose your motor function. Has anybody ever been in a rush and you try to stick a key in a door when you're in a rush? And it's a simple thing and you can't do it? Or when you're, you're in a rush and you're looking for something and you know exactly where it is and you still can't find it, and when you calm down and find it, it's still where you thought it was? You start to fall apart under pressure. Pressure also comes when we start doing martial arts the first time we get hit or somebody starts throwing punches at us. We freak out, we want to run away. And for example, one of the first things you learn and one of the first things that any coach tells you is, don't run away, don't turn away, don't close your eyes. Punches are not like the monsters when you're a kid, right? When you're a kid, if you close your eyes and you pull your blanket up over your head, the monsters are not going to get you. Unfortunately, punches, if you close your eyes and turn <laughs> away, they're still there and they're still going to hit you. So we do what I call survival drills, which are we put people up against the wall so they can't run away. Now, you're going to take a stance, your basic boxing stance, right? Just put your shoulder against the wall so you really can't run away. Now, maybe we'll move his head here so the ante goes a little bit better. So he can't run. He has to now deal with the technique. This is not, though, an excuse for me to beat the living crap out of him. So we're going to start off slow. Keeping in mind that we have like eight basic defenses, I'm not going to tell him what I'm going to do. I'm going to start throwing punches at him. Real simple. So I'm not going to kill him, right? But if I jab at him, what am I supposed to do? He's supposed to parry. If I cross, parry. Right? If I throw a left hook, he's going to shield. If I throw like an overhand, he's going to shield. Right, I'm just reviewing. If I throw a right hook to the body or a right uppercut to the body, it's the same thing. If I throw a left hook to the body, it's the same thing. It's just a shield. And then the harder ones are like, for example, if I jab using your, use your elbow, other elbow. That's it. Now, the reason you don't do that, right, is that if you do that, do the wrong one that you're just doing. You see how you get hit right in the kidney? Or, remember, we can grapple with this. If you turn that, do the wrong one. If you turn this way and I come right in, you see how you're going to get pinned with your back to me? That's why, you see, if you, if you block with the one I showed you, I, you see how I can't come around to hit you? Right. And if I try to shoot in, you're going to put your left arm on my, yeah, exactly like we worked this weekend. That's why we're doing these drills also, because what we're going to do is we're going to take them through the levels, and the levels are going to help you reintegrate all the skills that we worked on this weekend. So, I go jab, I can go hook, I can go left, I can go low and you'll elbow block. Right? I can go right and he'll elbow block. If I come around, he'll elbow block. You know? Pop. Pop. Uppercut. Uppercut. Pop. At the beginning, just go like this. Try, try to fake him out a little bit. I can go.